Well, hey, preschool parents, this is Jeff, and I'm here with a really fun, really simple continue the journey activity uh, for you to do with your kids at home that I hope, I pray, is going to help them just to continue their journey throughout the week to find this Jesus guy that we believe in and love and worship and to begin to follow him with their lives. And this is called That's Impossible. Now, this week in our preschool experience, we focused on the big idea that God can do miracles. And we shared the story from the Old Testament of Elijah and the prophets of Baal up with their competition on Mount Carmel, where uh, Baal and Elijah have a bull on an altar and they're praying to their gods to rain down fire from heaven and ignite that bull. And of course, Baal's uh, prophets can't do that because Baal isn't a real god. But Elijah does. He calls on God and God, boom, sends down fire to ignite this bull. Not just the bull, but the altar, the stones, the water around it, all on fire. An incredible story. One that kids absolutely love to hear. It's so fantastic. Now, for this Continue the Journey activity, it's really just play. You don't need any materials. But what you do need is some kind of Bible, an app on your phone, uh, a physical Bible like this, something something so that you can tell this incredible story to your kids. And I got to tell you, out of all the Bible stories out there, you're not going to have a hard time uh, getting your kids to pay attention to this one because it is so fantastic. All right, so here's, here's what you can do with your kids at home. Uh, just say, I'm going to ask you to do some things. I want you to perform a challenge for me. And there are six different challenges that you can pick from. You can pick all of them or even you can come up with ones on your own. Uh, ask them to jump up and touch the moon. Give them an opportunity to do that. And then when it's all done, say, was that possible? And, and then have them answer, no, that's impossible. Okay, so and then maybe you'll ask them to clap loud enough for someone in India to hear. Give them an opportunity to do it and say, is that possible? And have them answer, no, that's impossible. Four other things. You can have them stomp and cause an earthquake. You can have them flap their arms and try to fly. You can have them try to spin around faster than a tornado or try to push down the outside wall of your house with their hands. And all of those, of course, are impossible. And then you can say, you know, for people, those things are all impossible. But for God, nothing is impossible. He can do anything. And today, you're going to share a story with them about something incredible that God did. And you're going to learn that God can do miracles. And then sit down and share that story with them. Whether it's uh, on a Bible app on your phone, or maybe a YouTube video, or just a, a paper Bible like this one. You're going to find that story in 1 Kings chapter 18. That's about uh, midway through the Old Testament. You'll find this story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Might have to uh, clean it up a little bit at the end of that story uh, after the people say, yes, we believe that God is the one true God, he rounds up all the prophets of Baal and <laughs> kills them. So be careful in how you share that story with your preschooler. But what an incredible, fun story to help your kid, uh, to help your kid understand. And then all throughout the week, I would encourage you, maybe at bedtime, maybe it's first thing in the morning, uh, read a story of a miracle from the Bible. You can Google miracles in the Bible. You can come up with a whole list of them. Jesus performed many of them when he was here on earth 2,000 years ago in the New Testament. There are lots of prophets who did amazing things in the Old Testament. Keep reading these stories of miracles to your kids this week and next week. We'll be talking about God performing miracles next week as well. It's so good for our kids to know that this great, big, humongous God that we worship has the power to do anything and everything. Uh, it, it's really good for me to know and for you to know and for your kids to know that God is that big. He's not some human-sized God. He is amazing. So have fun playing this game with your kids, reading some Bible stories to them this week. It's really going to help them continue their journey to find and follow Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody.